Hello! In this video, we will examine the Math 21 Lab Part 1. This lab is all about getting started and learning basic commands in Mathematica. To begin, type your name in the box. Remember to save your file periodically while you work so that if something goes wrong you don't lose everything. Getting started. Before you begin, open the Classroom Assistant palette if it's not already open. To do this, go to Palettes, Classroom Assistant, and when this opens, it will often be on top of your document. So it will be very convenient to grab the right side of your document and scoot it over a bit and then slide the Classroom Assistant palette to the side. So that will make things a bit more convenient for us to work. Okay, great. Now, let's try some simple arithmetic. So click on the following input cell, and this cell contains an arithmetic computation. To evaluate it, click and hit Shift-Enter. Mathematica computes the answer negative 5. Let's scroll down. Now let's try our own example. So let's create an input cell and to do that we'll need to get our cursor going sideways. Notice that it goes horizontally and vertically. I'm going to get it going horizontally and click on the plus button here, Mathematica input. Now let's say we want to do a fraction and in the numerator we want to do the square root of 9 and in the denominator we want to do another fraction 1 fourth times 2. Shift enter. Mathematica gives us the answer. Now let's try a trigonometric function. So let's make a new input cell below this text cell and let's find the value of tangent of pi over 3. All right, that's already filled in for us. A couple of things to notice here. The trig functions are all capitalized. Also, the angle is placed in square brackets. Let's see what happens if we don't obey those rules. So if we just type tangent with a lower case, and hit shift enter, Mathematica won't give us the answer. Okay, And similarly, maybe we type capital T-A-N for tangent, but we forget and we try to use parentheses instead of the square brackets. And again, Mathematica is not very happy. It thinks we want to multiply a variable named tangent times pi over 3. So remember, if you're doing trig functions, you need a capital letter and you need square brackets. Now the nice thing about this is, is that if you click a new input cell over on the right hand side of the screen, click advanced tab, you can click on any of those trig functions and Mathematica already reminds you that you need a capital letter on the trig function and square brackets. So just for practice, let's calculate sine of pi over 4. So we'll enter our fraction. To get the pi, we'll click on the pi button over here. Alternatively, you can type in capital PI either way. And then in the denominator, we'll put 4. And that's 1 over the square root of 2. Okay, great. The next thing we want to talk about, um, we want to talk about decimal numbers. So this capital N command, this is like a numerical approximation. So to find the decimal approximation of a number, we want to use the command capital N, followed by square brackets, an expression, and then the number of digits or the number of significant digits that we want. So for example, to calculate the square root of 3 to 4 significant digits, we would evaluate the following. Shift enter. Great. Now the significant digits are counted beginning with the leftmost 
non-zero digit, including digits to the left of the decimal point. If you do not specify the number of significant digits, the result will usually begin the, the result will usually be given uh, to six significant digits. Okay, so now for practice, use the capital N command, the numerical approximation, to find a decimal approximation of pi to three significant digits. Then use N to find a decimal approximation of pi to a thousand significant digits. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. So we'll create a new input cell. We'll do capital N, square bracket, pi. And we want three significant digits. That's good, we got the correct answer. Now let's do the same thing, but a thousand significant digits. So I'm just going to copy paste this code here. and change that 3 to 1,000. And there's pi calculated out to 1,000 significant digits. 